Travis Wayne Goodsell. I still have yet to uh, upload the other video I did where I uh, recognized that the clerks of the court uh, ignored and ignored the chief judge's order and violated the law to uh, not file my motion to dismiss. <coughs> And so, uh, I'm, I have no choice because I'm doing this all by myself. There's nobody else who can intervene and step in on my behalf. I can't go through any other process. I can't get any outside help. And so this is the only thing I'm allowed to do which I'm not allowed to do. And so that's what I'm expecting here, is that the clerks of the court are going to lodge it on the docket and then claim number 26 that it can't be filed. But I'm going to go contrary to the orders of the chief judge and I'm, I'm complaining to him again. <coughs> and so here's the submission of brief uh, that I will have emailed before uploading it on YouTube. The plaintiff herein submits the following brief. Chief Judge Robert J. Shelby. So it's addressed to him. It's not to Tina Campbell. It's not to the court or anything. The plaintiff understands your order for the plaintiff to stop emailing your chambers. However, the plaintiff must report the court clerk's violation of the law and of your overriding orders in the proceedings. And of overriding your orders. It should be worded differently. And overriding your orders. Orders in the proceedings. Plaintiff submitted 29 motion to recuse Judge Campbell, 3 November 2020, which the court clerks lodged only the motion but not the email, referring to his order, and claimed 26 order to ignore your honor's overriding 28 order to have all submissions filed. As the plaintiff understand it, understands it, a motion for recusal takes priority over previous undecided motions. Judge Campbell can't refuse to hear a motion for her recusal as her upcoming decisions for the previous motions are in question, simply because the motion to recuse came after the previous motions and she gave an illegal order to the court to deny subsequent submissions. Judge Campbell is now expected to wrongfully decide in favor of the defendant on the previous motions, then deny the motion to recuse as moot, denying all substantive, substantive information from the plaintiff. This court is involved in gaslighting to protect the defendant. The plaintiff has the evidence to convict the defendant, but this court's compromised judges and clerks and clerks are denying and dismissing all motions and complaints before evidence can be presented. As a consequence, the fact that the defendant had the state of Utah indefinitely detain the plaintiff back in 2008 is now fake news and a hoax with Judge Waddup's dismissal with prejudice. 219CV00711. <clears throat> and in this case, this court is desperately violating the law to deny the defendants causing of the escalation of and science denial of the coronavirus, 
which is jeopardizing the plaintiff's life as a tampering in the two cases of the plaintiff. What this court is attempting to do is deny that the CEO of the defendant, Russell M. Nelson, held two coronavirus cure religious fasts. Which both obviously failed and support other apostles who are publicly deceiving Mormons by telling them coronavirus is taking away their free agency and their religious freedom right to publicly assemble to worship. <clears throat> Faith does not cure the virus. I need to put in here that what they're doing is actually taking away their agency. Deceiving Mormons about the seriousness of the virus and the defendant. Defendants causation of the escalation and indefinite perpetuation of the virus is the true cause of Mormons lack agency and religious freedom. Alright, let's check that out again. Uh, let's just jump into, okay, what this court is attempting to do. is denied that the CEO of the defendant, Russell M. Nelson, held two coronavirus cure religious fasts, which both obviously failed, and support other apostles attempting to deny and support, yeah, it's just an extended sentence, that's my linguistic style uh, is that I have lots of run-on sentences. It can be done. I did the graphing as a grade schooler. I was very good at that. Identifying the prepositional phrases and the adverbials and etc. etc. Uh, telling them the coronavirus is taking away their free agency. Oh, let's see. Uh, help me, help me. Who are, uh, and support other apostles who are publicly deceiving Mormons by telling them coronavirus is taking away their free agency and their religious freedom right to assemble. I actually can simplify this. Deceiving Mormons as to the defendants' causal actions 
which resulted in the in Mormons' lack of free agency and religious freedom. Okay. What this court is attempting to do is deny that the CEO of the defendant, Russell and Nelson, held two coronavirus cure f religious fasts, which both obviously failed, and support other apostles who are publicly deceiving Mormons by telling them coronavirus is taking away their free agency and their religious freedom right to publicly assemble to worship deceiving Mormons as to the defendants causal actions which resulted in Mormons lack of free agency and religious freedom with the escalation and indefinite condition of the viral crisis. Okay. <sighs> Trying to see if the periods are there. <coughs> With the current by refusing to shut down the defendant's religious and business facilities to save lives. Deceiving Mormons as to the defendant's causal actions which resulted in Mormons' lack of free agency, which resulted in Mormons' current lack of free agency and religious freedom with the current escalation and indefinite condition of the viral crisis by refusing to shut down the defendant's religious and business facilities to save lives. The defendants. The defendant is blatantly causing the causing infection and deaths with their position of religious trust. What this court is attempting to do is deny that there is even a coronavirus pandemic threat and that Governor Herbert and Governor-elect Cox, I'm assuming he won, if he didn't, I sure got egg on my face, <laughs> caused the indefinite escalation of the virus in the state of Utah for their failure to follow the recommendations of health professionals and their failure to follow through with their own preparations. Causal origins cannot be denied, dismissed, and ignored because it implicates the defendant and their co-conspirators. <laughs> in, in criminal behavior and criminal actions. It is anti-justice, an anti-judicial process, an anti-science, an anti-scientific process. 
the virus will never be controlled or cured without a vaccine, and thus the plaintiff will never have justice with this court's corruption. <sighs> the plaintiff is also in great need of submitting a brief about co-conspirators who are further attacking the plaintiff in regards to his residence. But the plaintiff is forced to first deal with this crisis caused by Judge Tina Campbell. The plaintiff has clearly won, as the actions by this court demonstrate prima facie, which is why this court are committing crimes to protect the defendant and keep the plaintiff's evidence from being presented, such as the inverted pentagram carved in stone and in bronze at Temple Square, the headquarters of the defendant. Such illegal actions by this court, as the plaintiff understands it, is to render a default judgment in favor of the plaintiff. But this requires your honor to step in to make this official, this order official. The plaintiff has already submitted to your honor such motion and order. And merely requires your honor's signature to stop all this criminal nonsense. To stop all this criminal nonsense. He'll get it. He may turn on me and say, I told you I'm not accepting anything, so I'm ignoring this. I don't know. I mean, this is just absurd. A blatant disregard for reality. that in there. To stop all this criminal nonsense and blatant disregard for reality. <sighs> so, yeah, apparently we didn't get the uh, Senate overturned. <sighs> Needed four seats to be flipped to the Democrats. Doesn't look like it happened. So it looks like McConnell will continue to be the continue to stop any and all uh, bills that come on his desk by the House. We will continue not to get any further money for this coronavirus as uh, we'll just be continually exposed and die. Uh, this is a national crisis, guys. Do you guys not understand this? I mean, those of you who voted for Trump, who voted for these senators to keep Trump in power, do you understand that you're complaining about having to wear a mask is caused by Trump. It's not caused by the Democrats. Trump's in power. Trump is president. He caused it. Nobody else caused this. Trump. He's the cause. He's the reality. And you voted for him. 
and you voted for the senators to protect them. So don't try gaslighting the rest of us who know better. It doesn't work on us. You're bullies and you're trying to keep your power just as this court is trying to not only keep the church's power but keep their own power because they've been exposed as being biased for the church. The church owns the federal court of Utah. This is what I'm having to go up against. This is not Goliath that I'm fighting against. I've already hit him between the eyes. <laughs> he didn't go down. <laughs> I not only hit him between the eyes, I hit him in the crotch. <laughs> that takes down every guy except the church. <sighs> Poor priest quorum advisor. We're playing ball, volleyball at church, uh, and because uh, we couldn't play basketball because I was on the high school team. You can't play church ball and be on the high school team at the same time in Southern California. Uh, and so we played volleyball, and uh, uh, I I was very good at playing volleyball. Very good. I was working on jump spikes, jump spike serves, because the one guy in the Olympics for the American team did that to win the gold, did a jump, a jump spike serve, aced it, nobody could touch it, and so yeah, that was the, that was the thing now, all, everybody wanted to do jump spike serves because of what he did in that Olympic event, and uh, yeah, I I was getting good at it. Went up for uh, just a regular spike. Nailed the priest quorum advisor in the crotch. Oh, and I I didn't like watching the the greatest bloopers show or whatever that was because that's all it was was just people and animals getting hit in the crotch. How is this funny? That hurts. It's not funny, but yeah, I, he, oh man, I, I knew how much pain he was in because I had previously spiked uh, a volleyball at uh, uh, school for a reset or PE and uh, uh, branded the guy on the other side. He showed everybody his chest. See, you can see Spalding. Literally, I mean, they canceled volleyball. <laughs> no more volleyball. It's too violent of a sport. <laughs> because I branded a guy. Uh, and so, yeah, I knew that this was not just a regular hit in the crotch. This was a death blow. <laughs> and, oh, man. He was down for hours just on the couch, curled up in the fetal position, just in pain, and I, oh, and we don't have cell phones back then, so he couldn't call up his wife and say, come pick me up, take me to the hospital, oh man, it was bad, so, yeah, but, uh, my tennis elbows, uh, Yes, both left and right. I was spiking left-handed too. That's how good I was. <clears throat> Shooting basketballs with my left hand also. Throwing baseballs with my left hand also. I am not left-handed. There's something I haven't told you. I am not left-handed either. Princess Bride. So, yeah, I... Yeah, now I'm an old, fat, balding guy who divorced twice. 
and nobody's believing it. Oh yeah? Whatever. You ain't no superstar athlete. <laughs> yeah, I can't prove it anymore. You know, my parents threw away all the the uh, documented evidence of it. So, I mean, this is what the court's trying to do. Just trying to erase the causal problem of the church. 